why are we so concerned about soil erosion? And there's a good reason for it. One, it has a tremendous impact on crop productivity. The second reason that we're concerned about soil erosion is the impact on water quality. There are actually four types of soil erosion. One is called pedestal. And pedestal erosion, as the name implies, it's like a pedestal of soil, a pedestal that has a rock sitting on top of it, and all the soil is gone around it because of the pounding of the raindrops. The second type of soil erosion that we can have is real erosion. These are small channels that form in the soil, and these are easily covered up with a tractor. The other type of soil erosion that we have is something it's called sheet erosion and it's the uniform removal of a thin layer of soil so you can't really see this happening all right farmers can't see this happening but what's happening over a period of time is that you're losing this thin layer of soil every year and what eventually happens is that your productivity goes down and all of a sudden you realize that oh I've got a soil erosion problem the other type of soil erosion uh, that you can have is something called gully erosion. And that's the worst type of erosion that you can have. In gully erosion, essentially what happens there is that these huge channels form in your, in your soil. And what happens is that you cannot cross those with the tillage implement. So what usually happens is you have to come in with some sort of caterpillar tractor to fill in those gullies and so that you can carry on uh, traditional agricultural types of practices. So the other important fact to remember is that we have two types, major types of soil erosion that can occur. One is water erosion, which we're gonna spend the majority of our time talking about today. And then we have wind erosion. Wind erosion out in the western part of the United States is a big concern. Here in Indiana and in the Midwest, generally speaking, water erosion is a big concern. So the first type of soil erosion that we're going to look at, again, this is water erosion, is a situation where we've been tilling the soil year after year after year and not leaving very much cover on the field. It's clean till, there's no surface residue on the soil. And so when you look at it, all right, what you see is that a lot of the soil is actually eroded off. And then when you look at this pan down here, it is incredible how much, res how much soil has eroded off this particular pan and settled down in this container. In this particular example, what we're finding is that we added about one ton of residue per acre. Right? Not much residue. So what's happening here is that we have water, which is coming across this. But what's happening is that that mulch is, is protecting that soil surface from erosion. And so what's happening is that what we find rolling off into the tray here is significantly less soil than we had in the first example. So the last example that we're going to look at is a erosion control practice. And erosion control practices include things such as terracing and contouring. In this particular example, what we have are strips. And for example, the strips in this particular case are actually grass strips. And what's unique about this is that these grass strips totally trap that sediment and prevent it from rolling into the tray so that when you look at the tray, there is hardly any sediment at all in the bottom of the tray.